tomorrow morning they will tell you no you don't have the right to do this and it is not lesser by the power of social media interactions these young men and women who think your generation and my generation have killed them are becoming conscious of the fact that they can drive the instrumentality of governance using available resources. Did you see the way and manner they coordinate themselves before the infiltration of you know, vagabonds in the midst? That is a dangerous trend for governance. Except our leader go back to the drawing board and step back by to pulling the rule in the eyes of Nigerians. Because Nigerians of today, my generation, that have been so complacent and and those are, are no longer going to be in the position of being ruled by government. These are younger children who don't have anything to do anyway and they have nothing to lose. So, and for those kind of class of people, you have to manage them. And unfortunately for Nigeria, we have the larger percentage of this generation. And so, by and large, it's simply important that by 2023, governance is going to be a serious business in Nigeria. So, we better start preparing now. So the era of civil service con control governance is coming, is going to an end. What you will have are swaggy, technical, sensitive people who can connect with their brothers and sisters across the globe and tell you what is the modern situation, what is the ongoing trend in governance. So when we have challenges like this, we should stop deceiving ourselves. We should work with people as government. Sit down, listen to people, and then give them what we think is their due without, you know, playing hanky-panky. So for me, you know, the, the minister yesterday, whoever advised him, uh, shouldn't have uh, uh, gone that way. And as for the northern governors, who are saying yeah. that I, 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 I'm going to come there. Yes. So, so let me just, let's, let's, let me get aspect that. The northern governors are saying, look, the northern states don't have any problem with SARS. They want SARS, so leave it for us. The Borno state government had even gone ahead to honor the commander of the disbanded SARS. And then, on the other hand, the police are still not taking heed to the advice that they should cool down, calm down first on this issue of SWAT. And already they scheduled training to start practically over the week and they're going ahead with it. Well, how do you view that? A lot of people are having the perception that it's the MSAS thing is almost becoming a north-south thing. It's the southerners that are pushing it, the northerners are not. But that's not very true because the, the, the protests did take place in Niger, Eduna, and some other states. That, okay, so do you think, like as well as say, let's leave SARS in the north, then probably we'll go ahead with SWAT elsewhere? Okay, I, I'll tell you one thing. Privilege to be a Pan-Nigerian, whether anybody like it or not. The, the truth of the matter is, the incidence of brutality and abuses by the police in northern Nigeria is underreported because of the level of sophistication in terms of media, you know, and uh, 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 media reportage, and then you know, usage of uh, 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 social, uh, social media. media. You know, go to Katsina. You know, go see the level of impunity by organizations, abuses, and you know.